Okay. Hello everyone. I am Dara Martinovich and I represent Vera's Wisconsin family. That includes me and my husband Joe, Vera's nieces, Audrey and Zoe, Vera's nephews, Neil, Wyatt, and Joe, and Vera's great nephew, my grandson, Xavier. I'm gonna put my glasses on to make sure that I say everything I wanted to say. Also watching are two women who Vera and I consider sisters, Diane and Peggy. I'm coming to you from Tenney Park, named after a great supporter of Madison Parks, Daniel Tenney. Although as kids, Vera and I thought it was named Tenney Park because you wore your tennies to the park. During this ceremony, if you see a picture of Vera and I dancing with a bunch of ducks in the background, um, that was taken at Tenney Park just a few paces from here. We hung out here so much as kids. We played in the playgrounds here. We skated in the pond here, which is right over there. Vera was always a much better skater than, than I was, and I think she even skated as an adult too and played hockey, ice hockey. Maybe it was here that Vera developed her love of planes, as we are close to the airport and planes fly over here all the time. Um, we might actually hear some in this, in this video. Vera was born just a couple blocks from here, inside our actual house, as our mom couldn't get to the air, couldn't get to the hospital in time. I almost said airport. That would be kind of fitting if Vera was born in an airport, but she wasn't. She was born in our house. Our aunt was present at delivery, and she thought Vera was a boy because she mistook the umbilical cord for a, well, you know. I've been trying to select just one story about Vera, something that shows her courage, intelligence, and wit. The following story does that and can be summed up in three words that strike fear in the hearts of anyone who attended American public schools. Elementary, school, dodgeball. When I was in fourth grade and Vera was in third grade, a game of dodgeball started to get out of hand. The older boys started picking on the younger kids, throwing the balls really hard and even pushing some of the kids. Who could put a stop to this chaotic scene? A teacher? A principal? Nope, it was Vera. She marched up to the lead bully, looked him square in the eye, and demanded to know, are you proud to be an American? The puzzled look on the bully's face was exquisite, and he slunk away, leaving the rest of us to continue our game in peace. In this instance, Vera demonstrated her courage by standing up to the bully, her intelligence by thinking fast on her feet, and her wit by giving all of us playground kids a triumphant story we have laughed about for years. Carrie, your Wisconsin family sends all our love. I remember my last conversation with both you and Vera. I guess I could call it the last real conversation I had with Vera since toward the end she really couldn't um, speak more than a few words. Um, but during that conversation, she told me how grateful she was for you being by her side all those weeks in the hospital. And I'm grateful that you were there too. Um, since her Wisconsin family couldn't be there for all but the very last few days. Thank you all for allowing me to be a part of Vera's celebration. We are gratified to see how loved she was by all of you. And please know how much she loved you too. Thank you.